Australia is one of the most fire-prone landscapes in the world. It is believed that Australia has been frequented by severe bushfires for more than 10,000 years. This has pushed native plants to evolve various highly efficient survival strategies. These survival strategies have been developed to minimise critical tissue loss during bushfires. One method is by modifying the fuel architecture to prevent fires reaching photosynthetic tissue and apical meristems located in the canopy. By dropping the lower branches, the fire is unable to reach the canopy tissue and is therefore less likely to be lost during a bushfire. Some pyrophilic species and communities, like the Castle Ray and Agnes Banks Scribbly Gum Woodlands, have instead adapted to increase fuel loads through the dropping of branches, barks and leaves. This enables fire to breach the area surrounding the vegetation and remove the fire sensitive competition. This method involves more investment in post fire regeneration rather than fire prevention. This is achieved by resprouting from epicormic growth, below soil ligand tubers, or through seed dispersal mechanisms. Seed dispersal mechanisms are typical of pyrophobic species and involve serotony, encasing the seeds in a protective body casing that only opens after a fire and myrmecochrae, dispersed by ants into the ant nest by possessing a high lipid seed coating. These methods keep the seeds safe until after fire, which germinate in the presence of smoke or rain. Some species have developed the ability to alter their community structure by forming tight thickets. This prevents oxygen supply to potential fires and prevents the establishment of ground cover species, which would increase the available fuel load. While not entirely successful for this species, the petrophile is also serotonous. Eucalyptus trees have evolved various bark structures. The different barks respond to bushfire in various ways to prevent damage to the critical cambium tissue within the trunk. While some methods may appear more successful than others, all of these species have still survived for thousands of years. All this effort and evolution just to persist in one of the most fire-prone landscapes on Earth.